In my mind, it is very iconic and it is very legendary. That room, the red room. If all goes according to the plan and we're all legends at the end of this, that room is like a huge thing. So the sanctuary is like the most important thing that ever happened to me. But here I am. It was just freedom. You've been wanting to just make music and the schedule was so jammed up for the previous year. Did a whole US tour for three months, did festival tours for a month, two month tour across Europe with Lil Wayne, doing arenas, like literally playing shows down to the end. <coughs> and then there's nothing, no shows, no anything, just studio. It felt like it was my own world that I felt like I could really grow into my own creatively. Just kind of find myself through the music I was making. I think it was just so much space I had. Really insular living and, and building this studio that everyone was welcome to come through. But 24 seven, you know, it was me up for like four days in a row in like a weird state of mind, just like in a studio working. To have like a, a real home studio where he turned like one room into a booth and he had a shower in there. Like he could like pretty much live in there if he wanted to. The music was always in him. You can find videos of him playing a guitar or piano or rapping from the single digits, you know? He always had the music in him. And, and I know he like had produced some stuff prior, but it was in the sanctuary that he really turned up the interest and the time spent working on his production and the birth of Larry Fisherman. Music is the most important thing in my life. As long as that is the fundamental foundation of my whole philosophy of every single thing I do, mm -hmm. music it is, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't think we'll really lose. It's that room. The sanctuary brought a lot of people that just cared about music to come in that room. I think one of the coolest things about being down there was just different people would come through and be like, yo, put this on the screen or like put this on the screen. And like, I think he was eager to learn from others and I also think that he was eager to make people feel comfortable and feel welcome. For better or for worse, I always try and keep it always as open and as, as honest as possible because I want people to kind of feel like they can be right there with me. And that goes for the ups and the downs. That's what made it real. That's what made them songs. That's what made you feel something when you heard the music in the words. That's like Mac's real personality. Like as a, as a person, like that's what Faces is. It's like, that's the most Malcolm album that you can get. Uh, polo pajamas, I think I made it. I show my mom my first million, she damn near fainted. The rich and famous, so nice to make you acquaintance. The legends put out their latest. I feel that it sound outdated. No, but for real. On some honest shit. Thank you for everything, you know. Hold me down these last two years while I've been searching for finding who myself is, you know what I'm saying? Old Jewish motherfucking faces, most dope. I knew that it was the most bars that he had ever had. I just didn't know at that time it would be go down as like probably people's favorite project by him. Okay. I did not foresee that whatsoever. Cause it was really like a low key affair. Like he released it for free. Like I'm just gonna drop a piece of work completely unattached to anything. There's no major label working it. There's no anything. It really felt like a breakthrough project. After a while, 
if you really have the talent and you are really challenging yourself and you're really riddling, like you just start to get to a different place with it. This person not only is talented, but is unafraid to dispense with our idea of who he was before. On the listener side, people who are in the know were definitely impressed by that. The last week I was in that room was so crazy emotionally that I was literally just sitting there crying and playing the piano. Like I couldn't leave. It's dark and depressing, like I mean, it's, it is, like it's bad, but it's beautiful, it's fucking beautiful. The darkness is a bit of a misnomer. Could also be framed as truth and perspective and what's really going on with yourself. It was this like surrender to radical honesty. It's really, really real. And uncomfortably so in a lot of ways. But I think the reality was, is it was an exploration of truth. Say one time after two years at this motherfucking crib, fuck all y'all motherfuckers living all over this motherfucker trying to kick me out. That goes for you, Mrs. Watson, with your little ass kids always fucking crying. You got your little chihuahua, fuck you and your motherfucking mama, bitch. I'm out here, suck my motherfucking dick. Yeah, remember music. Old Jewish.